so uh, top five things I loved about this bike. First thing that attracted to me was the looks. So I love the looks of it. It's just an awesome, great looking bike. It's just blacked out. The fact that you can go real low profile with it looks really, really good. Second thing I loved about this bike, the affordability. Like it's, it wasn't crazy expensive. It was really very, very affordable. You know, it wasn't gonna break the bank. I could afford payments on it. I paid it off in like 10 months. You know, I bought it, bought it used. I like the affordability because it was really cheap on insurance too. Third thing I really love about the bike, aftermarket options. Like I said, I did a lot to this bike. I mean, you can change out these front to like smoked lenses, LEDs, Daymaker headlight, front grille, changed out the grips, changed out the bars, changed out the top clamp. A lot of people remove the reflectors, but that's not aftermarket. Relocated the gauge, right, to the side there. Relocated the ignition and the coil, which they were originally over there. You can throw passenger pegs on it. Did LED taillights, which are bright as hell. Um, a stage one kit, so basically a high flow um, air cleaner. I did the uh, external breather system for it. That was all super custom. There's a FP3 uh, tuner from Vance and Heinz on it as well. And then a uh, big radius from Vance and Heinz exhaust. So I mean, an endless amount of uh, aftermarket options that you guys can do. You know, tank lift, did the wire tuck, all that good stuff. So third thing I love about it. So fourth thing I really liked about the bike is the fact that um, it's not too big, the size of it, it really fit me. You know, the fact that it has mid controls, you can put whatever kind of bars on it that you like um, to either go higher up, you know, like mini apes or Z bars. Uh, and then the mid controls, I liked it because it made it feel really nimble, you know, like you could really control it. Um, a lot of people do end up putting highway, highway pegs on it. I know like Biking Bird, he's 6'2", you know, so he needs a little more room to extend, so we put highway pegs on it. I'm 5'10", so it just depends on what your preference is, if you like the fronts, if you like the mids. But I liked, I liked the mids, the fact that it came with mids because of the, uh, the control, you just feel like you're in control of it. And then if you're coming up on a pothole or anything like that, you, know, you can kind of lift up and not take the brunt of that impact. I need one more thing to like about this bike. I said top five. I said affordability, the look of it. This is what it originally attracted me to it. Aftermarket options, everything that you're able to do to it, the weight of the bike, the feeling, like the nimbleness, like it's a good introductory. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And the fifth thing I like about the bike is that it's not too big. It's not overwhelming you. People think Harley, they think, you know, like the big, big and clunky. It's like Harley is appealing to a younger, a younger demographic with the Sportsters. You know, they're, they're smaller, lightweight. The engines aren't huge, which is great for people that are looking to get into it. And Harley did the right thing by putting a smaller engine, you know, like an 883 on it, because at the price point, if you're looking to get a Harley, you can afford a Harley. This was my first one. I totally didn't know I could afford a Harley before this. And so like, it was definitely a, a good, introduction into the brand um, into the bikes and now look where, where I'm at you know getting the FX DLS so and then you know if, if you're looking to stay with the Sportster and you're looking to upgrade I mean they even make kits there's a couple of uh, companies out there that make big bore kits and you can upgrade it to like a 1200 or like even a 1275 now so tons of aftermarket options for you guys but just some things that I like about it I don't know you guys let me know your thoughts So overall, would I recommend the Harley Iron 883? Most definitely. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on it, please be sure to post up in the comments below. I absolutely love this bike. I had it, like I said, I had it for a year. Just recently upgraded to the Lowrider S. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. And uh, until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. And I will catch y'all later. I'm gonna miss this bike, dude. It's so nimble. Yeah.